everyone, Bridget from Riverside here, and I'm gonna show you how to use our editor tool. Once you've recorded your podcast or your video on Riverside, you have the option to use our editor tool to save time in post-production. You don't have to know how to use external editing tools like Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro in order to create great content. On Riverside's editor, you can create long-form and short-form content that will help transform your recordings into a ready-to-publish podcast and create short-form promotional material in just a few clicks. To get to the editor, click View All Recordings from your main dashboard. This is where you will see all of the recordings done in that studio. Click on the relevant recording. This will bring you into the recording take page. Click go to editor at the top of the page. On the left, you will see all clips that were marked during the recording. You can also create additional clips manually. We suggest your first step be to name the clip. Trim along the timeline to select the amount of your recording that you want to edit. Cut out a section of your recording to create a clip or select the full recording. If you're looking to edit audio only here, such as combining the audio of all tracks, head to the Tracks button and select Audio Only. You can then export and choose what kind of format to export in, MP3 or WAV. You can use Riverside's background noise remover and normalize the volume level so that your recording is ready to publish right away. If you're looking to edit video as well here, there are a few ways to customize your content. Decide what tracks will be included and what position they will appear in. Here you can pick the aspect ratios. For more information on aspect ratios, head to our blog post linked in the description. You can also pick the layout of your video. Grid means that all parties will be on screen in the final export. You can decide to have this without gaps and with gaps. AI speaker view means that the speaker will take up the full view of the screen. There are different layout options for this as well. Make it your own by customizing the background. You can choose from Riverside's options or you can upload your own. And lastly, you can add your logo. You can resize and reposition as needed. When you're happy with your edit, you can click export. Decide what specs the final video will be exported in. 720p, 1080p, or even 4K. Of course, this depends on what kind of camera was used to record. While you wait for this clip to export, you can continue creating new clips or you can exit to the recording take page. This is where you will access all of the clips that you created inside of the editor. Any unexported clips will be saved as drafts to continue editing later. When a clip is ready to be exported, it will say ready. You can preview the clip, download this clip, as well as duplicate and edit it if you want to make changes. You can also share the clip directly on various platforms. For more information on the integration of each of these platforms, head to the Riverside support article called Hosting My Recordings, linked in the description. The Riverside Editor is a super simple way to create content without ever having to go off the Riverside platform. With just a few clicks, you can create quality content and elevate your brand. For more information and for additional help, head to riverside.fm support. Thanks for watching this walkthrough. Make sure to let us know how you'll be using Riverside in the comments. And of course, subscribe to our page and follow us on social media for more tips and tricks on how you can use Riverside for all things podcasting and beyond.